Do you want to accelerate your personal growth? Do you want to hit your potential even quicker? Well, stay around for today's video where I'm going to be sharing my personal experience and learning from other people in how you might be able to do that. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know me, my name's Johnny Pardo. I'm a self esteem and confidence mindset author, speaker and coach. And I've been in the personal growth area for a few years. And it wasn't until I really started to actually apply it when I started to learn it properly. So that's what I wanted to share some of my experience and when it's really made a difference into my life. Now, first of all, I was thinking back to when did it start for me? So I wanted to share a bit of a story. And I was thinking in the last two, three years, I've really, really got into personal growth. I've really sort of grown from it. But it was probably, well, I was thinking it was when I was in my job, my day job, and I just couldn't get a job. I kept getting rejected by job after job, no matter how far I got. And I talk about that in my last book, which is called You Are More Than That. And I was thinking, yeah, that's when I really started to get into personal growth because I thought I could be better and I wanted to improve, improve, improve. But actually, I was thinking back to university and when I was at university, I was a bit shy, I was a bit quiet, like to begin with, particularly this was sort of 2009 when I started and then sort of 2010, 11, 12 by the time I finished. And I was thinking I was quite a shy individual and particularly talking to the opposite sex, the girls. And I thought, I want to learn, you know, how to speak to people socially, particularly girls. And from actually taking learning on board and then applying it, I got a lot better. And that's my really my first experience of personal growth when I started reading all these materials and becoming more and more confident. But it wasn't until I actually started applying when I started learning it. And then when I got into the day jobs and I just couldn't get a job and I kept getting rejected after rejected, sorry, rejection after rejection, I then started to try and grow myself because I thought I wasn't good enough. And that's a belief uh, I had for many years until I really, really worked on it in the last couple of years. And that's when I started applying different areas of personal growth into my life. And it started to make a difference, particularly in recent years, when I started to take fire action on it. When I first got into it, I was just putting motivational quotes on the wall. Now, motiv motivational quotes are great, but if you're not going to do anything with them, your life's not going to change. So with personal growth, you need to really apply it. In recent years, I've started to write well I started to write a few years ago but in the last couple of years or particularly the last year in particular I've got into speaking and I've got into coaching and when I've got into them I've wanted to develop even more and more and that's where my personal growth has risen just trying to read a book every week or every two weeks listening to podcasts applying it teaching people it mentoring people coaching and that's when it's really really risen so without any further hesitation I'm going to go into my Top five tips in terms of accelerating your personal growth. So tip number one is ask yourself why. Why do you want to develop? I mean, why is it you want to get into personal growth? Is it because you want to become a better husband? Is it because you want to become a better, well, better in your job? Is it because you want to become a better athlete? Is it because you want to become better in a social situation, whatever it is, you have to be specific in your personal growth. Why do you want the personal growth? So really, really think about that when you start beginning your personal growth, because what you focus on specifically is going to help you. So making sure you're looking at the right books and the right materials to help your growth is really, really important. So you have to make sure you specifically know what you want to develop in. So tip number two is learn every day. Now, you don't have to be like Warren Buffett who reads all day, but you have to do a bit of personal growth every day if you want to develop. And I'm talking just maybe 10, 15 minutes of reading, a little bit of a course, maybe a podcast. And don't say you don't have time. That's an awful excuse and it's not true because we all have time. We all have 24 hours in a day. So finding a little bit of time for personal growth is absolutely essential. And I've known of single mums who've grown businesses 
and people who've had really, really challenging circumstances, you've grown businesses, you hear examples out there, just because they focus on growing themselves and investing in themselves. What you've got to do is focus maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes a day on personal growth, whether that's reading, whether that's a podcast, whatever the best format is for you. That might mean you need to get up. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough today. Um, that might mean you need to get up 15 or 20 minutes earlier, but just carve out that time every single day. And tip number three is active learning. So learning's great and you take it in, but try and teach it because when we teach, we tend to learn even more and more. So whether that's telling someone, whether it's a friend or a family member about what you've learned or a work colleague, or whether it's creating, writing your own blog, or whether it's creating your own podcasts or YouTube videos. One reason why I create all this content is because it helps me learn as well as giving value and helping other people develop their self-esteem and confidence. So think about how you can actively learn the information you're taking in to accelerate your personal growth. Tip number four is very similar to what I've just talked about, but how you actually apply it. So the actions and habits you're going to take, this is where your personal growth is really going to accelerate. So when I listen to or read a bit of personal growth relevant to me, I, I'm always thinking, how can I apply it into an action? How can I make it into a habit? So a habit is something you consistently do and an action is something you'll do as a sort of one off. But then you've got to always take action. We don't progress unless we take action. So that's key in personal growth. You've actually got to apply it. But when I listen to something, the most important things of it, I always think, how can I apply them? How can I make changes into my life? So is it something that I'm going to consistently do as a habit or is it just a big bit of action I'm going to take soon? And just asking yourself that question over and over again. You don't have to take action and habit on every single thing you learn because you wouldn't get anything done and that wouldn't be possible. But just think of the most important things you can take action and habit on. So think about this video. Think about what you can take action on after you listen to me. And the final point, tip number five, is mentally and physically noting down what's working, and what's not because this is great for your self-awareness. When we do more of the things that work and less of the things that don't work, strangely enough, we start to make progress, but we don't always remember. And mentally, making a note can help, just observing yourself and observing is great, but when you physically make a note as well, there's more neural pathways in your head, and I'm using big terms here, and then therefore you're more likely to remember it. But what I tend to do is maybe make a note on my phone if, I'm, if I've not got any paper around or mentally note it. And then I write it down in my journal later to just remember what's working in my day and what's not in terms of my personal growth. So that's really important for your self-awareness in order to progress, because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and it not working. So that's my final point on self-awareness, making that note, making those notes. So a question for you. And please drop a comment in the comments below. What do you find particularly effective in personal growth that helps you accelerate your personal growth even more? Just drop a comment below. So to sum up today's video, personal growth is fantastic. And I don't understand why someone wouldn't want to get into personal growth to grow themselves because they're going to be them for the rest of their life. But we can accelerate our personal growth in certain ways and the five ways I've talked about are number one being clear on why you want to develop your personal growth number two is learning every single day number three is active learning so how can you teach it number four is about taking action and habits from what you've learned and number five is about the self-awareness and mentally and physically noting it, what's working and what's not, and doing more of what's working and less of what's not. If you're particularly interested in developing your self-esteem, confidence or mindset within personal growth, then keep an eye out for my next book, which is out on Sunday the 9th of August, The Self-Esteem and Confidence 
mindset where I give specific actions you can start applying into your life to develop your self-esteem, confidence and your mindset in life. Also, if you want to get really specific on what you want, understand where you want to go, get through your challenges and think of specific actions relevant to you, really get that clarity and that confidence in life, then I have some spots in my one-to-one -one coaching. Just email me, coaching at johnnypardo.com. I'll leave this information in the description as well. If you've enjoyed today, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified so you can get more videos like this. And I'm going to leave a video suggestion for you as well at the end of this video. So keep working on your personal growth. Keep thinking about how you can apply it consistently so you can get the best of it. And thank you very much for watching this video today.